I never knew the true value of mentor and mentorship until I started coming to this Y. And I had people thoroughly invested in seeing me thrive for no other reason than me thriving. It's just genuine and it's love. And then that just dropped off on me. And then I just started give off that love to everybody else I started meeting in Long Grind. I think our board has done a, an extremely um, good job here at the branch being tangible examples of what um, the possibilities of our kids um, can be when they grow up. I find it ironic that they equate success with people who don't live in their area. So we constantly talk to them about the only difference, the choices you make. It's like a trap. Like everything you see, you start to repeat. You're like, oh, I'm just gonna go do what he did, what my older brother did. He might have done something that was terrible, but you don't have an escape from it. So you're just gonna keep repeating the cycle. So like organizations like the Y, if you put one in those neighborhoods, it's like, it's great. Cause they get to come here and they're like, okay, I have a way to get away from that. And a way to come here and, you know, talk to everyone if I have a problem and just go into doing something other than being an at-risk kid. They talk to you, they guide you and they're there with you as you reach the peak of your mountain and they watch the view with you and having that companionship with people older than me, people younger than me, people the same age as me is something I've never experienced in when I'm at the Y. Since I'm like a day one, always been here, like if it were to leave, I honestly don't know what I would do. Like I just be just a girl. Like it changed me for like the better and for it to be sticking around and to know that it's expanding for like the future people to come, it's like, Thank God. Sometimes people get blinded by the sparkle of diamonds and they forget to nurture the coal that helps make it. So thank you for realizing that there's something here that needs nurturing and putting those resources here for us. I grew up here. I went to school in this area, in this set of zip codes that we service. I actually have kids who go to the same high school that I went to, right? So to be able to say, nope, I've walked in your hallway, not in your shoes, but in those same hallways. I did these same programs. I understand the stressors that you feel and the pressure you put on yourself. It is one of those things that can really change a child's perspective to know that college is not some mythological thing that they can't achieve, to know that security and financial security is not something for other people. For a while, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know, like, I didn't have my passion. I just, like, I don't know, I was an indecisive person and being here, like, with the Youth and Government Program as well, it inspired me to, um, my passion is kids and social work, that area. So I want to do something internationally and work with kids. I am studying political science uh, with a minor in global studies and a concentration in international affairs. I wanted to get into modeling, so I want to go to college in Miami or in New York, NYU. And I also want to be a neonatologist, so, you know, medical degree. I am committed and going to Davidson College in Davidson, North Carolina. Instead of a cycle of poverty and at-risk decisions, we can flip that and create a cycle of prosperity. The northwest side of Jacksonville is a part of the larger Jacksonville community and what happens here ultimately impacts what happens elsewhere. Everybody here has a different skill set so if I'm better like in math I might help you who's struggling a little bit so it's it's a combination it's like a second home honestly. Thank you because it's just that, that they don't know eventually how it's going to turn out in the long run. So just for them to put their money and their time into the team center, that's, that's great, actually. It's greatly appreciated because it's needed, especially for, like, um, in this neighborhood. People need somewhere to go. Whatever help people can give wherever they are, pour into your team. Pour positive things into the teens around you. You never know what a smile and a firm handshake and an affirmative word will do in the everyday life of an ordinary teen.